Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis says the city is setting up a task team to investigate extortion cases affecting service delivery. Waste collection and sewage drainage services have been delayed in Samora Machel for nearly two weeks following the murder of a contract worker earlier this month. Meanwhile, three other projects have been completely halted in areas like Delft, Mitchell's Plain and Mfuleni due to gangs demanding a protection fee. Now, law enforcement agencies have be, or are being deployed to escort contractors and municipal vehicles. The NCA's Nobesutu Hejana has a story. One month this former contract worker says he's still traumatized. He and his colleagues were held at gunpoint by a suspected gang that ordered them to stop working after they refused to pay a protection fee a month ago. <laughs> Community leaders say gangs are depriving honest residents of basic services. Abantu ngoba more than a month behind pants being a pangate. Go abandon clalin by a gula, zongizi for abandon by a chachas and gang lion and grains. On Monday, Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis reassured workers that plans are afoot to keep them safe and finally end extortion rackets, jeopardizing service delivery. We can't have a hundred law enforcement officers driving around with our trash trucks uh, and our grabber trucks and our front end loaders everywhere. It's just not sustainable. So we have to have the community's help. They know who the extortionists are. They all live around right here in between us. And so we've got to have uh, their help to root it out. We are building our own investigative capacity inside the city. Uh, and we are also deploying some specialized uh, law enforcement resources that will deal just with extortion and, and uh, protection rackets. Uh, and we'll make some announcements around that in the next few weeks. Here, Lewis has called for patience from residents as the city works to plug service delivery gaps. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town.